Well, hello, hello, hello. I um, finally finished. You can officially, officially, officially congratulate me. I just finished my first manuscript on my first book. Now, this book has been in the making for the last few years. In fact, I can't even believe that I actually did this. I can't believe that it's finally finished. Of course, it's not fully, fully, fully done because now the first manuscript goes to my producer. Then the producer checks it, comes back to me. I have to do it again, check it through. Then only we send it to the editors, they check it, then come back. And so forth. this first is going to last another three months. But, but, but. I have done it. 60,000 words. They're going to chop the book, so don't worry. Gosh, I have to be honest with you. I've been crying and laughing writing this book, going down the memory lane. It's been kind of weird at the same time because a lot of the moments were still really painful and raw. So it's like a 100% raw story based on true events. The book is really about self-help and inspiration and how to, you know, really help everybody who is potentially struggling or is in the suffering state. And it's about my transformation, how I went from that state into feeling the way I do now, which is pretty much very happy all the time. And um, yeah, it's, it's just kind of been even transformational writing it. A little bit definitely um, nerve-wracking in a sense that you know like wow I'm sharing so many private moments and details in this book I also collected like all the bits of information that I had uh, which was like my diary notes my um, other old book notes things that I used to write in the past and I kind of just combined everything into one and um, yeah there's some <laughs> there's some deep stuff in there some raw stuff some uh, painful things definitely been crying my eyes out for a while only because you know it as anything that's been traumatizing or happened to you maybe um it's still you remember it with a little bit of sadness it's normal you know so I was just releasing a lot of emotion oh, I just I don't know I can't believe it's actually happening I don't think it's still like kind of popped in my head that I, I did it. I remember talking about it even to so many friends. I was like, yeah, I'm going to write a book. I'm writing a book. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And you know, like that's the thing. If you want to write a book, unless you set yourself a deadline and even with my deadlines, I was like, okay, I'm going to dedicate myself this like six months to like just write the book every day, you know, one chapter. But the reality is that it just doesn't happen like that. You know, you spend one day writing till 2 a.m. The next day you write only a little bit. Then you don't write for three days. So it's been a journey, a journey that I actually really enjoyed. Um, I am just a little bit like nervous because I'm not a professional writer. For those of you who know my story a little bit, you know that I went, I came to England by myself when I was 14 and I didn't really speak English. So English is not my first language and writing a book in, in English, of course I know how to speak and how to write, but still, you know, there's that little doubt in me that like, okay, like I, I'm not gonna sound as these like professional writers, I'm just gonna sound like me, I'm just gonna share like what happened and tell you pretty much like a story like I'm telling you right now, just in a book form and, you know, share what actually happened, the story of my life, the all the bits, the private things that I went through personally and some people that have, you know, contributed to this journey of my life. And um, yeah, it's pretty surreal. So if you haven't gotten on a wait list yet uh, to join my book, uh, please do. I am super, super thrilled because I know this book is going to really help and inspire a lot of people. Even at the end when I was writing it, I got inspired myself. I was like, I went through all this, like I am still here. Yes, <laughs> you know, it's kind of that realization. And I think a lot of us don't give each other, like ourselves credits, you know, we forget about all the things that we've been through, all the horrible pains, moments, maybe devastating situations or suffering that we endure during our life. And then we kind of just move on and, you know, yes, we're like, yeah, I've done it or I've been through it, but we never like give ourselves credit. And um, I think it's really important. Also, it's not just like uh, a story. I've given a lot of personal things in there, like exercises that I personally use to help me to overcome a lot of situations in my life. And I, honestly, I've been through it all. In fact, when I was writing my book, I was just like, this is just crazy. Like, you know, some people get like one or two things in their lifetime. And I, I had it like every single like milestone in my life every year, something just terrific would happen. 
and I was just constantly in this like suffering state over and over again it's like a loop that just wouldn't end but guys I am the prime example of what can happen when you truly truly heal when you truly you know I say let go and trust trust the process trust the world trust yourself and start to build that identity of who you are start to um, appreciate and value yourself and and feel that you are a unique and amazing person and that is so so important I think once you start building that base of who you are you start to feel safe you start to feel that you're unique and special and there's nobody like you out there and these are just like the basic foundations which majority of us don't have did you know that 80 percent of people don't feel safe or that they can trust anybody it's actually a really sad statistic and again it all comes from generations to generations of how we were raised how our parents were raised and their parents were raised and you know these are just passed on and passed on so it's not like you know a lot of people blame their parents like oh parents didn't raise me this way or they did that or, or this but the truth is they just did their best they did the best that they knew based on what their parents knew and so forth so you are in charge of how you now dictate your future your children your families because you can be that horse you can be that white horse that changes that tract of suffering of money issues of everything negative that comes and i realized that i am that white horse and oh, it's it's a powerful realization and i have to share it with the world i have to share my story it's it's just unbelievable you know and some of you might know me because you've been following me for a while some of you don't know me you're like who is this crazy woman i'm a little bit crazy it's all right but soon everybody's gonna know this book i'm gonna be everywhere because i realized that my mission is to help people my mission is to transform people from suffering to happiness from state of awful pain to enjoying your life and honestly I never ever thought that I would say this I never thought that this is the route that I'm gonna go to I never even thought that I could feel this good like I do right now in my entire life because it's just been suffering after suffering after suffering in fact you know I nearly died many times and now I'm here the healthiest I've ever been I I'm enjoying life. I'm content. I'm calm. I'm in my feminine flow state, which I really enjoy being in. And I've got successful business. I've got incredible family and friends. And I just, you know, realized that the only thing that I guess was stopping me to get here was just my mindset and a lot of understanding of my traumas. So a lot of healing had to go through for me to put the pieces together and never in a million years did I ever think that this is what it feels like to be content and happy and I know that there is more coming because if this is how good I feel now with all the knowledge that I know now what's gonna happen later is gonna completely blow my mind so I really want to invite you onto this journey um, I can't promise on the book date anymore I was going to but <laughs> My publisher said, you know, these things can take, you know, a couple of weeks here and there. So hopefully the book will be finished by the end of November, beginning of December, maybe even next year. We'll see. Depends on many, many things. But I really want you to come onto this journey with me. Um, if you are feeling down, if you're feeling lost in life, if you're feeling depressed, if you can't get out of bed or you binge eating or you've just lost someone, okay? this book is going to really 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 help you just to make that next step and i just want you to understand that i've been literally through it all and i want to be that example of inspiring uh people that it's absolutely possible to get through everything in this life you're so much stronger than you think and it's not even about the strength it's more about the fact that you're given these challenges for a reason and when you get through these challenges there's so much more on the other side. Ah, I just feel 
great. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love your feedback. So please reply below. Let me know what you think. And thank you for watching. And get onto the waitlist. Bye.